Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to another stream. Chase is here again today. Welcome, Chase. Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. So, Skull Spider, like Maria says, yep. Skull Spider it is. Here's a little monster. Let's start inking it. I think I'm going to finish the egg today and start with the... Um, grayscale. We'll see. This is clean enough for me to go in and just ink it this time. It should be okay. How are you, Chase? I'm doing pretty good. So is the reason... Uh, why did you choose this one over the hanging one? Uh, because that looks too western-ish, I guess, as you said. Okay, that's what I was saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is probably a little more JRPG-ish. Anyway, let's get started. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely use this. Yeah, not with this though. So where's my brush size? There you go. Oh, this is really large actually. I could use a larger brush size. Yeah, because the, the the monster is gonna be pretty small. So Yeah, I don't uh, even know why. Uh, I guess maybe it's just like the little orb of light or spirit thing in the middle. It just feels like very Japanese in that way. Uh, it could be, but since I'm trying to do more Japanese-ish stuff, I guess this is a better, slightly better choice. Um, probably, or not, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. Oh, hello, Fiddle, on YouTube. Hello, Fiddle. I'm glad you survived. <laughs> the, uh, well, yeah. the room. Oh. Yeah, we saw the picture of your break room. The room. It's like an escape room. <laughs> I know. It's, it has like one of those liminal image vibes. <laughs> liminal yeah. spaces. Lots of things in there. Uh, I wouldn't like to have to use that kind of room for anything. <laughs> I am, uh, you guys can probably tell, I'm a very sadly tidy person. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I, I I wouldn't like to witness to that kind of mess. I was tidier than uh, my fellow Japanese people around when I was in Japan, so that's weird. But no sound. Uh, did you did you have the audio turned off? Because actually, I, whenever we do these streams, I have Nemo's like YouTube uh, stream open, and I just mute the audio. You can hear it and off. then later on, no, I can hear it on <laughs> I YouTube. Actually, okay, yeah. Because later, later on, on, after yeah, the stream is over, I go to watch something on YouTube, and I realize I didn't turn the audio back on. Yeah, I do the same. I also mute it. Uh, I keep it in the background, so um, I cannot keep the audio turn on. And sometimes I do forget to turn it back on when I'm done. This feels more like a crab right now, but I guess it's fine. Because <laughs> technically, spiders. I don't think spiders would have. Yeah? Oh! Spiders and crabs are related. Oh, you're getting raided. Nice. Oh, I'm getting raided by my friend, Andrea. Hello! Hello, hello! <laughs> What's up? How are you playing, man? Um, I did watch a couple streams last week, or maybe two weeks ago, was it, when you were playing Final Fantasy Sound Remake, the Aerith uh, home part. Thanks a lot for the raid. I have that and have not played it yet. <laughs> I've had it for like two years. Oh, you did? Yeah, um, I have Remake. I don't know. I would like to play it, but I don't want to spend the money right now because I'm not sure I would like it. Uh, I bought the deluxe edition that came with like the art book and the CD ooh. and everything. <laughs> art book is really cool. Yeah, um, some like the the remade versions of some of the summons are so cool. Yeah, it just I don't know. Part of me doesn't want to buy it also because I don't want Square to be to feel like it's a legit thing to release part of a game. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Um, yeah, a lot of the uh, monster designs are pretty faithful to the original as well. Just, I mean, yeah. obviously updated to fit modern graphics, but yeah. I think uh, the biggest issue I have that makes me not want to play is how they uh, changed the story a bit. <laughs> I know they did. Um, I kind of figure out what they did without trying to spoil to anybody. Uh, right. What they did with the avalanche stuff. I kind of figured it out, even if I don't know. I can probably tell. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, I like the story in the original. So, well. <laughs> oh, I think I already asked my friend how he was before. That's why he said everything okay. <laughs> Oops. Uh. You can uh, feel free to disagree with me, mm -hmm. uh, but I personally feel like FF7, the original, has one of the best bestiaries of any game ever. Hmm. <laughs> it's up there. Interesting. Uh, just because for for my personal preferences, it has the perfect mixture of very cool looking monsters and then very wacky looking monsters and then organic and then mechanical and then organic and mechanical i just feel like it has the perfect blend between all of those things okay interesting um i don't know because when i played final fantasy 7 i had already played 8 and 9 i think so like the the way the graphics is done is it was kind of underwhelming a little bit and so i i guess i didn't appreciate that much um, the design kind of like they, w they didn't have textures uh, obviously so i, I agree know. with that yeah i'm i'm talking about more like the general concepts and ideas behind the monsters yeah those are interesting like overall um i like the final the, fantasy the is, yeah. yeah i mean final fantasy 8 is super boring uh, like half of the bosses are just kind of random robots and things like that. That's true. Final Fantasy IX has great art design, but I mean, it is more classical in terms of monster yeah. designs, I would say. Um, but that's kind of why I like Final Fantasy VII's catalog of monsters, I guess, is because it has both sort of traditional things and also it does a lot of experimental stuff with the monsters that I really like. Yeah, well, that is true. Um... I did like a lot the, the design in Final Fantasy V, though. Um, like, if I have to choose, I don't know. I would probably choose that. Not sure, though. Uh, oh, man, getting all these channel points. Nice. <laughs> so you're still getting points, even if you're not chatting? Yeah, you just get points by watching, like, every 10 minutes. Okay. I had no idea. Little only play Final Fantasy three. Never finished that. Uh, uh, the original or <laughs> FF six on the SNES? Yeah. Ones. So is it actually three or is it six? Uh, in the West or in, like I think. Uh, I don't know if it ever released in, here in Europe uh, as Final Fantasy three. Uh, honestly. Hmm. Sure. Finish all the Final Fantasy from the first through nine, skipping only seven? Really? You skipped it? So uh, you're playing the remake now, and it's the first time you play it. Interesting. My favorite insect. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't even know if I have a favorite insect. Do you have a, a favorite insect, uh, Chase? A favorite insect. Uh. I don't think I do. Um, okay, maybe, maybe I guess one of those rhinoceros beetles or Hercules beetles. They're they're pretty interesting. Yeah, Atlas beetles. Those are pretty yeah, cool. like those. I guess they have a pretty interesting design overall. Design is like nature's design, but it's interesting. Ah. Uh. Favorite is six. Good choice. Six is Good pretty choice. great. The 3D one. Uh, so not the original Final Fantasy 3. 
I think he meant to say the third. But there is a three. Oh, the reading. third one. Okay, sorry. Uh, the third one. Okay, okay. Yeah, the third one. So it's actually Final Fantasy three. Cool. That's uh, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard some someone say that their first Final Fantasy was the original three. Uh, I don't even know if I played three. <laughs> I don't think I played three. You know what? I was thinking yesterday, we might, what about doing a uh, weekly challenge where at some point where we redesign one of the summons uh, from the Final Fantasy series, classic, like the classic ones. That could be okay, interesting. So nothing from like the PlayStation era. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was right. going to suggest Ark from Final Fantasy IX. Duh. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> Which totally doesn't fit into the world of that game. I don't know why Ark <laughs> is there. Honestly. Like, why? I mean, it's cool as an airship, but then it turns into like a Gundam. And it's like, this is supposed to be a fantasy world. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, what's the reason and reasoning behind Ark? Who was called Arka here? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm pretty um, sure Ark was a reference to another game, actually. Okay. Like another Square game. Let me look that up. I forget the name of the game. Uh, Ark's design is based on the eponymous robot from Cruise Chaser Blasty, a 1986 RPG developed by Square with anime studio Sunrise. Okay, okay. Sunrise. So it's basically just a reference to that game. Lion Trap Ant. Not the real name. Um, not familiar, I guess. Ant. But the insect Ant Lion the is what she means. Yeah. Oh, Trap Nick. Okay, okay, I guess I guess I understand what you mean. She played the Final Fantasy VII remake and didn't like the combat. It felt combo convoluted and stiff. Um I did like the combat. I played the demo. Uh, I did like the combat, honestly. Um it was um like as soon as it released, I think it was March. Or April, um, twenty twenty. I played the demo, and I did at least enjoy the com the combat. Um, at least for that demo and for the uh, the boss. Although what I thought back then was, um, if this boss, that's a minor boss, takes so long, um, it's probably overdone. <laughs> so I don't know how the rest is gonna play out. Uh, yeah, Maria, I like ant lions too. Uh, the, the thing about ant lions is that the larva form is way cooler than the actual adult, because <laughs> the larva, you know, has the big pincers and it burrows under the sand and whatnot, and then the adult is just kind of like a dragonfly. Uh. Oh, there is an ant lion in Final Fantasy IX, by the way. Uh, the There's Wall one Street. in uh, four yeah. as well. Is there? Oh, I don't remember four. It's been so long. Yeah, right. because uh, Rosa gets sick and you have to go find the uh, oh, yeah. Antlion Jewel to help her. Yeah. I don't, I don't think you yeah. even <laughs> finished that. Ever. That's when you have useless Edward in your party. The uh, bard guy. Mm -hmm. It's been so long. Um, could be ten years now. Yeah, more than ten years maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was like 2009, so I should probably play it again. I started playing 5 again uh, around uh, Easter this year, uh, but I didn't continue for some reason. What do you call the main character from 5? I'm, I'm curious. Is it Bartz? See, we, uh, I know the Japanese name is Butts, <laughs> like B U T Z, <laughs> and they uh, translate it to Bartz. So, you know, I yeah, I don't know if it was the same for you or not. <laughs> uh, I, I played it in English anyway, so. Yeah, I guess Bartz. Bartz. I've always seen Bartz. Bartz. So. Yeah. Hmm.
I didn't know the original name was Butts. I hope <laughs> Butts. That's, that's not what they meant when they made it. <laughs> I have no idea. You know what? This is going to be different. It's not going to hit on the classic. Oh man, anytime one of my fridges, like the old fridge, turns on, my <laughs> lights flicker. And I get so worried about the stream ending abruptly. I'm sorry if it does. Because I got two fridges, and I guess if both are running, it's probably draining too much power. Apparently, it's more like Batsu in Japanese, which like, I guess means punishment. Uh, it's, it's more like. No. It's like denial, <laughs> something like that. As far as I know. Okay, Maria. Good luck. <clears throat> oh, see you later too, Fiddle. Yep. Have a good dinner. Oh no, Everyone the bus. Oh sorry, I I I uh I I read Maria for Fiddle, so it's Fiddle who's leaving, sorry. Yeah, that's why uh I should not read the chat while I drink. <laughs> Yeah. Oops. Getting old. Me too. It's no excuse. <laughs> no, it's not. Not really. Uh, should be on the other side. Oh. I have a problematic mistake here. Okay, so here, these should be like, probably like two cheap. I don't things. understand these reward things. What does modify a single emote mean? I have no idea. I'm not a power Twitch user. I never use it apart from when I stream. <laughs> so, not sure. Mm. Like some of these, so it lets me highlight a message, I guess, to get your attention. Uh, send a message in subscriber only mode. Choose an emote, uh, modify a single emote. Beats me. I have no idea. It's 900 points to do that. <laughs> well, I guess that's not much. How, how many points do you make, like, per five minutes or so? Well, every 10 minutes, it's 10 points, so... <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I should probably adjust that then. I'm going to have to look into it a little bit. I didn't get it. You choose an emotion and make a change so that's personalized. Yeah, but what does that mean? <laughs> like, is it just taking an emote and then, like, flipping it? Oh, to the side I don't think you can do that. I did not enable subscribers emotes i don't uh, think i will because <laughs> usually like you never know who's gonna do something really wacky that then you cannot you have to go back and erase and maybe make people angry or something we do need custom emotes for this channel yeah that is true uh i'm gonna <laughs> steal them from someone probably <laughs> i mean some of them could be my monsters it's just that they're so I was going to suggest Baynog face. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> that could be one of them. If you're okay with me using it. Um, I don't care. It's free publicity. <laughs> that's true. I mean, it would be if they knew where it comes from. Uh, well, then they'll ask and then you'll tell them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That works. It works. Uh, we need another, another, oh, oh, let's make it like this. It doesn't make much sense with, who cares? It's going to be so small, nobody's going to notice. Probably, because it's going to be like, in, in the game, it's going to be like, this size <laughs> so nobody's gonna probably question why they're not exactly uh in the same 
at the same angle. Because <laughs> they're not, but it's fine. It's a dead thing, so who knows what happened to him, it, or she, her. Finish the ink, but I think I will. It's not too complicated, so I'm probably going to start with the um, grayscale as well. I still think the Twitch counter is wrong, because my friend was here before, there's me, there's you, I mean there's two me, so that cannot be correct. This time. Unless everyone left. No, it was, it was still, it was two when he was here, which cannot really be, so. It just can't be. Because that would be three with me and him alone. <laughs> so. That's what I tell myself. I actually have a hundred people in my streams and it just says three. <laughs> I'm not being delusional. It's true. <clears throat> I am also being delusional, but not, not about this. Mm, probably. It's okay. You've earned it. <laughs> Why being del delusional or after everything you've gone through? <laughs> That's not that much. <clears throat> I haven't been to war yet. Yet. Though some Well, it depends. Because uh, if you don't make one of my designs, we might go to war. <laughs> I know. That would be sad. It's okay, because I'm going to make them, so it's easy when it depends on me. Well, the ones you're doing now are pretty easy, actually. I was talking more about yeah. um, the one that starts with an F that I sent you a while back. Um, with all the while. tubes. And... Wait, say it again? With all the tubes and whatnot. Or wires, whatever you want to call them. You know what? I'm not sure what you mean right now. <laughs> The tubes? Okay, let me let me think. Um, Remember the one that looks kind of like a robot demon, and it has tubes coming out of its head, and it's kind of anchored on the ground a little bit. I'm trying to be a little vague, so I don't spoil anything. I remember one that was... You mean that you sent a while back, like, now, or a while back, like, a year ago? Oh, no, like... uh. Like a couple of weeks ago, I think. F. I remember one with I, D. Oh man. <laughs> I sent it in like a personal message on Discord. F. Jesus, I'm totally blanking out. <laughs> Seriously, um, I probably know what you mean, but I'm completely blanked out right now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna share screen real quick. This is embarrassing. My my memory is starting to fade a little bit with AC. Well, yeah, you will remember as soon as I show you, because you seemed uh, unsure if you wanted to do it or not. Unsure if I wanted to do it or not. It's not a character, is it? No, it's robotic. You said. Oh, you oh, know like what? I, I completely forgot about this. I can do it. Yeah. Completely forgotten about this. Now I do remember. Because I, I saw it like once, I think, only. Oops. Well, to be fair, I just showed it to you and I wasn't sure if I wanted that to be the final design. Although I don't really know what else I can add to it. Because you would probably fill in some of the details. But... Yeah. I like it. How it is now. Yeah, we can't show that on screen. It is a <laughs> actually yeah. spoilerish. That is probably hyper spoilerish. So <laughs> deepest apologies. I don't want to 
I don't like this part. I don't even like showing you some of my stuff because it spoils some of the game. <laughs> but I try uh, to be vague about that. That's of kind it. of inevitable, I guess. If I have to make it. No, but you said that you actually want to play the game. So. I want to play the game, yeah. Although I guess there's going to be more than just a story. You know? And if I make the, the monsters, it's still going to be... I'm still going to have it spoiled anyway. <laughs> so... I guess... I do like the design though. So everybody please stay tuned for when Chase is gonna start showing some gameplay and stuff from his game. Because it's gonna look so good. Because of Ryan. the masters, obviously. <laughs> and it's gonna play don't good. No. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know because there's a general and an art section, and I'm thinking of stuff to actually post in the general. That wouldn't mm -hmm. fall into the art you've done. I don't really know what to share. Well, I would say uh, maybe like if some things are still beta version, like I don't know if the graphics is in beta, it's a work in progress, maybe you don't post it if you're not satisfied with how it's looking at the moment. Otherwise, you just do. I made a sketch for the cockatrice and posted it on Discord. I feel that it was too basic. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. Uh, I did. I guess I'm going to see it later. After the stream. But thanks for starting to work on it already. I, I might enter in something because I like sharing ideas. It's I find it difficult to come up with like a really interesting cockatrice design. <laughs> Well, the ideas are good, though, so that's what matters. Um, okay, it's not bad looking so far. Okay, this part. Actually, look at the cockatrice for some pointers. I, I don't see it though. Where is it? It's in Creature Design Challenge. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you went too far. I you should probably not start with the colors so early. Um, it's interesting that it's like, like the head is like backwards. <laughs> That's, That's what, kind yeah, of I was wondering. Uh, is it like? Is it like a rooster crowing, like the way it throws its head back? And <laughs> I think so. Uh, that's kind of interesting. But I would avoid, like, I would focus more on the drawing right now. Like, trying to get it a little more solid. And one thing that's really important, do not cut the composition of the feet, like, ever. <laughs> because it's, uh, it's like a big, big, big no-no. Because -no. Um, it looks like they're actually cut, uh, if you do that. So I would say avoid color for now, maybe. Uh, like try to hone in onto the basics of the creature. Once you have it, then yeah, you can do the color. But it might be a little early to to color it if you're not sure about the shapes, you know. I would like not, definitely not brainstorm in color. Uh, if it's, if the, the, the subject is creature monster design or character design. Um, if it's landscape, you could do that, I guess, some people do, but for creature and monsters that heavily rely on shape design, probably not a good idea. Like very, very early, it's gonna kind of stifle your, um, your design uh, possibilities also, because if you don't get the color right, then it's gonna start looking very strange. And then you'll think, okay, well, eh, it's not a good idea, but it's probably not true because it's just a color issue. Um, especially because color 
tends to also be influenced by the shape. So, yeah, um, just early. Uh, if you want my advice, I would try to kind of pull back a little bit and focus a little more on the line art. If you do line art, or at least the, the shapes of various silhouettes. I think Maria said that she is not. Uh, she doesn't tend to do a lot of line art, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, I use color to put the character in place because it makes it easier for me to draw it. Okay. Um, that's still, I don't know, to me at least it feels kind of counterintuitive and kind of self-sabotaging a bit, but if that works for you. Let's just say it's generally not a good idea to do. Like, illustration-wise, it's... I've never seen it, anyone do that um, with color. Like, starting with color comps, you probably... Usually you start with grayscale or line art, depending on what kind of style you have. Um, and then color is just a flavor, basically, because it's not that important. Um, you... Uh, like I was saying, uh, I think, in yesterday's stream with Alessandro's piece, um, you really need to get a good grasp of the grayscale version because uh, value is way more important than uh, color. Color, that is basically temperature, is important, but like, if, if the importance of value is 10, color is like 2. So, if you don't use line art, you may want to experiment with silhouettes, like grayscale silhouettes. That also works. Although you did, um, you did do the line art for the previous ones. Um, as far as I can see, there's a lot of line art there. Of course, whatever. Are you modifying you. this line art a bit from the uh, original? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay. Some things are uh, <laughs> some things are just a, a little wrong. So apparently, uh, Maria did not use line art. Um, I don't know. I just I, at least I felt like there was a lot of line art in the. Uh, Minotaur you post it even if you don't use a uh, line art per se like I'm doing here like with ink um, I felt like the style was very line art ish so maybe you can experiment with that but the point is always to n not neglect the drawing because drawing is like you cannot okay I know only one person who paints and doesn't draw like only one Everyone else puts the drawing first, uh, and and that guy does oil painting, so and only portraits, so it's kind of understandable that he doesn't draw as much. But for the rest, like for illustrative art and entertainment art, drawing is gonna be pretty much fundamental. You gotta nail those perspective and values and things like that before you get into color because otherwise you always be kind of um, disadvantaged uh, disadvantaged compared to people who actually did put a lot of time into uh, doing the um, the grayscale part say the value part and the drawing part especially the drawing part so the ideally the skill um chart not chart the skill how would you say um the the like if i were to put skills in order of importance it would be drawing uh value and then color so hmm. But drawing is really like it's you cannot avoid that it's if you can't draw something you will not be able to paint it uh, because you need to have some sort of sense 
of the uh, overall shape. I'm gonna take my skull here because I need to figure out what happens. Oh, the process. The process. Yeah, this is a little weird. Um, it's not easy to draw a skull from the bottom. <laughs> so this would be like. I hope I don't destroy my monitor. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a photo of Barry so that uh, everyone can see him. <laughs> He's a pretty nice, friendly skull. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, my attention's divided. Did you say you have a skull with you right now? I do. Okay. Yeah, uh, I use it again. <laughs> Since it Mr. Is... Hamlet? No, no, it's a uh, Murray. I mean, I'm not Hamlet, and he's Murray. The demonic skull. It's a cool So you from... don't hold it up and say, ah, uh, Yorick. To I be or not well. to be, you know. I don't. I somewhat, I do, but not much. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the noise. It's the skull rolling on my uh, desk. Okay, this probably needs to be like lower here. I'm literally holding it up <laughs> at this angle to understand what I have to do. Um, it's a pretty cheap, like medical skull, <laughs> so it's nothing fancy. They're like forty bucks. It's not a real human skull, sadly. <laughs> I would not use a real skull anyway, because uh, that would feel disrespectful. <laughs> I don't think I could ever do that. That would be a bit weird. Yeah, I cannot hold someone's head in my hand. It'd be different if you're like one of those rich people that buys the uh, Tyrannosaurus skulls and hangs them in their office. I guess. Kind of probably. I mean, a T-Rex skull, maybe. Not a person. Like, I could probably have an animal skull. Uh, I wouldn't feel that that bad about it but not a human skull i don't think i could do that it would feel too weird it's too weird I, I would think oh man this was a person no too much i don't have the stomach and again i don't think it's respectful but you wouldn't hold the t-rex skull and say man this was a t-rex i wouldn't be <laughs> able to hold it probably in my hand <laughs> I don't think I would. Yeah. Maybe a baby T-Rex. Maybe. You gotta uh, work on that arm strength to do some more lifting. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess so. Oops. Okay. I As an aside, I uh, sent you a reworked version of the blood sting spider did you feel like that's easier to understand or do you think it needs the some side more? version yeah I, I mean i changed the design a little bit um if it if you mean the one you sent last time yeah i think it was easier uh to understand compared to the front version although i did have some sort of idea about how to make that as well so i guess that helps I mean, there's a lot of vague shapes, but I just thought, eh, Nemo knows how to draw robotic legs and hinges, so he should yeah, be fine. Sure. <laughs> I sure do. Uh, yeah, it's not a problem. Uh, I, w I would ask you if I did have uh, anything I wasn't sure about. Oops. Oh, man, I hope the teeth are not going to take up the rest of the stream now. Still have time. I shouldn't be so anal about anatomy here because most of the stuff you see in RPGs, like especially Japanese RPGs, is wrong. Like you take the skulls and Grambly with their or well skeletons, and they're wrong. Like completely wrong. <laughs> there is no anatomy in that. Uh very cartoony. They're, I mean they're taking creative liberties. It's fine. I don't know. I think they just don't know how to. They don't use reference. They don't have a skull. They're, they're not holding a skull in their hand while they draw that. <laughs> Probably. 
so well i mean they're, they're also probably like on a tight schedule where they have to do the art so <laughs> oh i would assume so i mean they work for a japanese company probably until 3 a.m they're a little cubicle dark and lonely and everyone hates them something like that go home and eat sushi yeah or nothing because they're too tired they just collapse on the uh on the train (laughs) man that sounds like the life oh yeah doesn't it Is this gonna go on? Yeah, this is I'd love to just turn. walk around and hate my life. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that amazing? In fact, I've been doing that for over 20 years. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. See. I apologize for being quieter than usual. I, oh, it's fine. I no worries. Nemo probably has an idea of what's happening. <laughs> uh, the, yeah. Big idea. Oh, now we've got five I will, people. I will not mention it, uh, just in case certain people are watching the stream. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we know you're killing someone right now. Oh man, you guys should see this needle bug that Nemo is working on. Yeah, that's That's actually pretty cool. (laughs) (laughs) That's I really actually really like the antenna. I like how they look like spiky whips that hits you. That was kind of the idea. Then when I was working on it, I figured, well, I mean, it's too... When I started at the grayscale, at least, I'm like, okay, I didn't draw it. But I feel like it shouldn't just be round like a ball. Because it was supposed to be a cactus sort of shape. So I'm like, okay, yeah. let's turn it into a cactus. And it kind of worked out. It, it, honestly, at the very beginning, it was kind of looking like a watermelon. Uh for some reason, yeah. because it's yeah, because it's green. Um, but I mean, it's you can you can tell it's a cactus now uh, the color. I was actually interested in that because obviously, like you think of cactus and it's kind of like a a yellowish green color, and I was like, I wonder if there's any variations we can do. And actually, there's quite a few different uh, c- cactus colors you can choose from. Oh, I didn't know that. Can try out some colors though. Uh, for now, I'm just doing it. You know, the base color. I can do some color variations if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that you do like to do that yourself, also. So true. My idea for it, uh, kind of similar to the bomber, actually, that you're also working on, is um, so in the game. Uh, there's different types of weapons that characters can use, right? So Wolf, uh, he can use swords and he can use axes and he can use spears. So you can kind of choose which sort of a uh, weapon you want to use with him. And then some of the characters have uh, like range weapons. So Riot, she uses bows. She's like the only character that uses bows, that kind of thing. And uh, the reason why you might want to do that is... Uh, if you kill the cactus with a contact weapon, so like if you kill it with a sword, it'll actually explode in a shower of needles. Yeah. Whereas if you kill it with a bow, it it won't. Like it won't hurt your character. So that's kind of interesting. Between, kind of a difference between ranged and unranged weapons. Interesting. That's cool. That makes sense, actually, right? Because obviously, if it's a cactus, it would make sense that it hurts you if you touch it. Ooh. I'm gonna make the ball now. Do it better. I like how it's looking so far. Yeah, kind of looks Japanese because of the horns, especially. Let's 
it might need to be something like that. Be almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Almost done. It's true that it exists bar and places only for Chinese and Japanese people in their country. People have told me that a lot, but I'm not sure if that's true. Are you saying that like there are bars and things only for Japanese? No. Is that what you mean? Mm, I don't think so. I, I no, not where I was at least. They were just like bars, I guess. I, I don't go to bars specifically, uh, but I did go to like. Um, Starbucks and places like that and I haven't noticed I know they are kind of racist toward Chinese and Koreans I have witnessed that not not like in person but I heard people complain about Koreans for some reason you know, when I was in Japan um, and Chinese but I haven't seen anything that goes that far no that w I don't even know if that would be acceptable internationally like <laughs> not sure It's pretty so, funny because in America, we typically group people up, right? So, like, yeah. you have Asian Americans and then African Americans and so on. Yeah. And it's like, when you look at the actual, I, I mean, like you're saying, a lot of people from Asian countries, like, if you go to Japan or China and try to insinuate that, like, Japanese and Chinese are the same, you <laughs> probably might get beat up. <laughs> um <laughs> Well, not not beat up in Japan, probably, but uh, severely you get a uh, stern insulted. Look. Yeah, and you get the. Uh, they they told me once that when a Japanese person is not approving what you say, they do like, so they like pull air through their teeth, basically, like. Mm, yeah, like that, and I don't know if that's true or not. And never exactly experienced it, but sort of. And so, yeah, you would probably get that, like the suspicious stare, and like uh, the, the, that move of disapproval. <laughs> probably, um, or you would get like hey, something like that. It's like, oh, I can't believe that is true. Please don't say it again. <laughs> so I don't think that is true. Anyway, uh, there is, yeah, there is racism, but uh, I don't think it goes as far as uh, banning people, uh, preventing people yeah. from accessing places. Also, because you can't tell. I don't think they can tell. If someone is like Southern Japanese or Korean or China, yeah, Korean probably, but Chinese very close, very very hard. I I am not able to tell personally, and as far as I can see, they cannot tell either. Uh, so if you go to the bar, like if you grew up there and you look Westerner, you're still gonna be treated like a Westerner. But if you're Chinese and you speak no Japanese at all. Like, if you don't open your mouth, you can be treated like a Japanese, so... Pretty much what I saw. So yeah, uh, Maria, it's not like in Japan you're gonna find a place that has a sign that says no whites allowed or something. I you know. might get dis disapproving looks, though, <laughs> from people. Although you get that uh, from um, landlords that is a thing like they're not gonna rent you a place if you are a foreigner sadly and that is a problem um, if you want to rent a space for yourself and you're not in the uh, J what's that called uh, J J E T Japanese Japan English teachers something like that program that's going to be pretty difficult for you to find an apartment. I wouldn't say impossible, but very hard. Especially if you're like me, you're a freelancer. So you're just there, you do not have a job. Or you have a job, but it's like somewhere else. It's like overseas. And you do not have anyone there, you know. It's going to be pretty hard. 
Yeah, because when I was offered the like English teaching job in Japan, the I think they said that they were going to give me some sort of accommodations, but I'm not really sure what that would have consisted of. Not pretty. From what I've seen, I knew a couple people who were doing that, and they were not very pretty uh, at all. They were very small and old usually. And the, the thing that sucks there is insulation. It's like there is no insulation at all. So it's pretty annoying, honestly, personally, uh, when it's hot because you turn off the AC and it, it's just, it's like you never turn it on. <laughs> and in winter, it's very cold, very cold. Um, I've had as low as six degrees in my home and it was a new home, like brand new. Six Celsius, six degrees Celsius. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit, but it's pretty low. It's almost being outside here, at least. So that's not. You're, you're, you're European. You should be used to having no AC. Unless it's different in Italy. <laughs> it is different. Um, I have it. I have why, one, two, three, no, two here. So I'm used to it. I, I don't think I could, and it's turned on right now. I don't think I could stay without it. <laughs> it's too hot. I got used to it here. Uh, okay, my mom doesn't because she lives in the north and it's pretty cold there. So she doesn't really need it. But anywhere else, I don't think I could stay without. And I was still, when it was hot up there, I would still suffer a little bit because I am spoiled and I prefer to have it, uh, to have air conditioners all around the house, especially, especially where I sleep. Um, I cannot sleep. The same. Yeah, I just need it at this point. Even if it's not that totally hot outside, I still want to have ACs. <laughs> yeah, especially for humidity, because I can bear heat, but not humidity, just zero percent. Oh, yeah, the, the, it's been like kind of muggy around here. I absolutely yeah. hate that feeling. That's not pretty. Oh, uh, I want to visit China and Japan for the architecture only. You would get bored pretty quickly, I guess. At least in Japan. Uh, it's nice. So the first time you go there, it's pretty nice. Uh, but then you notice that everything looks the same. Uh, like here in Europe, I don't know about the US because I haven't visited in many places, obviously. But here in Europe, we got a vast difference between areas, even of the same country, like here in Italy. But if you go to Japan, all of the temples look pretty much the same and it's everything very, 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 very similar. So it is interesting. Well, I, think, but... I think a lot of people look at pictures of like Tokyo and whatnot, and they think that's kind of like how it is everywhere in Japan. Oh, that nowhere. That's not the case. <laughs> no, that's the, like, I've never seen anything that looks even remotely like Tokyo anywhere but in Tokyo. Tokyo is not Japan, basically. It's just, it's a... Um, an international city uh, with a lot of people that are not from Tokyo either. Um, so I would not take Tokyo as an example of a Japanese town or a city, the least. No, um, you gotta yeah. go to, to the countryside if you want to see real Japan, which is pretty to some degree. Uh, but then you get it, you know, there are issues. Uh, like again, insulation. Homes are really, they don't know how to insulate homes. Like they, they just don't. It's just, it's just a fact. And it's sad because when it's cold and it's winter or it's hot and summer, um, you really did not want to stay like pumping air all day. They also do not have central heating. So that's why they're so cold in winter. So, I don't know, architecture-wise, I, I might be biased because I am European, uh, but I like, um, like Austrian architecture uh, and the neoclassical stuff a little more than I like the Japanese stuff because it, the Japanese, let's call it art uh, or like traditional architecture and stuff, it looks kind of... 
How can I play in a way that's not insulting? Um, simpler? <laughs> in a way? Like, if you look at their pottery, it's not pretty. You look at Chinese stuff, it's different. It's way more refined. But Japanese things are very... Minimalist. Let's say minimalist, yeah, I guess. It's it's like their tools made for being used, okay? Um, you're not going to find beauty there. It's just... It is nice to see, but it's not like, oh man, that's beautiful. Mm. It's very simple. Most of the times, like they're really, uh, the, the thing that strikes me most is their pottery. It's like so bare, kind of sad also. <laughs> so it is nice. It's nicely, it's well done, um, but it's nowhere near like uh, stuff like glass from Venice or Spain. Or even Chinese pottery, that's another... It's a completely other level. You can tell that Japan was in the Middle Age until the 1800s, if you go there. You can totally yeah, tell. Yeah, Maria, I was going to say basically the same thing. They're very much into uh, pragmatism. Yeah. Like pragmatic, pragmatic or practical yeah. things. Not really aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, I speak as a man. Like, if I see... A kimono thing and a woman in kimono it's not like the kimono is not or yukata whatever you want to call it it's not like emphasizing the female figure it's like it's very stiff and rigid like if you see it in person it's very stiff and people have a hard time walking with it uh so that's not even practical actually uh, but if you take chinese dresses they're way more designed like around the the figure so I agree. Chinese dresses are pretty great. Yeah. Uh, in general, like even shoes in Japan are very... Like you take Chinese shoes, just like they are useful, usable. You take Japanese uh, sandals, basically, they're very uncomfortable to, to wear. So they're practical, you know, oh. probably you know, in a way that's done like to produce them easily. I don't know. Hello, Alex. Uncomfortable. Oh, hello. Hey, what's up? Alex, I uh, I was watching your stream last night. I didn't comment because I'm not Italian, but uh, it, very cool. Yeah, he was trying out a new nice um, a new process. He was a bit frustrated with it because uh, he never tried it before. It's, it's not coming out bad though. Uh, it was pretty nice. Okay, this is done now. Save before I forget. And the usual troop. Yeah, myself, but... Okay. Yeah. I think it can fool enough people. Well, it's not exactly a skull. But, uh... It can fool people. It's fine. Oops. The other... In. Oh, I love living next to a train track. Nah, you are good. You are good. Come on. And it's always hard anyway to start a, to try out a new process, so it's, it's also good. So I wouldn't be so hard. I think you're very good too, although I'm not an artist, so my opinion means nothing. And that's encouraging. <laughs> so much. Also for the stuff that I do. Uh, <laughs> so I'm doing the usual trick, just getting rid of some of these lines, making them weaker because they're a little too much, especially the inner ones. I do this because it blends a little better. Um, Usually, when I do the grayscale, um, I just saw they were doing it, you know, a crown blue video, so I'm like, okay, why not? I cannot take credit for this uh, process at all. This is 100% ripped off the crown blue team. But it works, I mean, 
uh, results were pretty consistent. So that's what everyone does. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. There's no. There's hardly anybody, no matter what, even if you're a writer, even if you're a programmer, everybody just bases it off of other people. Yeah. <laughs> so don't feel bad. Yeah. I think I should stop changing brushes and start getting good with the round brush, says Maria. I agree. I agree. Uh, round brush with just brusher sensitivity, I think it's really good. Uh, you're not going to get fancy stuff. It's going to look very digital. Uh, but you can add texture on top. Like, I use uh, color burn in Photoshop. I know you don't, y'all. You do not use Photoshop, but um, they're probably, there's probably going to be some sort of mode you can overlay stuff on the layer in your software. And you can also use that for texture. Uh, and if you space the around brush out, it is going to feel like a texture anyway. Like if each, obviously again, it depends on the software you use, but if each um, basically stamp, each little shape is a little more spread out uh, from the previous one, it's going to feel like a texture. It's going to feel a little more rough, uh, especially if it's seen from really far away. So I use both um, simple brushes and texture one, but the texture one are really like 5% of the picture, maybe even less. That's what I was- Oh, saying. hello, student. Hello, student. Hey, it's really late for you. Still awake? Student, I was uh, talking uh, to someone about you last night. Oh, is it the Filipino girl, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I was mentioning how a uh, student... I don't know if this is just a thing with uh, Filipino people, but you, like, type very similar to her. And I asked her if it was her in disguise. <laughs> Interesting. She denied it, however. She was very confused, student. Yeah. Uh, she was like, you can tell something about the person by the way they type. And I'm like, yeah, I can usually tell if somebody is male or female based on how they type, for instance. True. Yeah. That's why we know Cheese is female. <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding. Well, he's not, but sometimes he acts like one. <laughs> Uh, that's how Pinoy's type yeah I guess I've talked to quite a few is what huh? the name of the ethnicity the Filipinos yeah okay Pinoy's is male and Pinay's is female so, so <laughs> a lot of people say Filipina but Filipina is actually not a real word it's incorrect I mean, they right. won't get angry if you say that, but Panay is technically accurate. Okay. Complicated. <laughs> I don't know. I thought Filipino was for everybody. It, well, yeah. Again, they don't care. From my experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. My pinky hurts, but uh, we got something. So let's start with the grayscale. I'm gonna start. So okay, on um, the inside needs to have that bowl. So I'm gonna have to leave it white. Not here though. I'm gonna add it later. Uh, I'm just gonna have to remember not to. Oh, I can always remove it. But... Almost done with the traditional drawing of the lion spider. I'm going to draw over it later. Okay. Right. So you do draw on the phone. That's gotta be really hard. Cause it's a small screen. I cannot handle anything smaller than 16 inches. I think for digital. 
Um, it's, it's, it's just very hard. Uh, even with this one, sometimes I got a Cintiq, uh, Cintiq 16, which is 16 inches. And sometimes I feel like I don't have enough space. Um, it is enough, but sometimes it just feels like, eh, if I had like 20, 21, it would probably be a little better. But yeah, feel free to post the lion spider later when you're done. By the way, Chase, I think I'm gonna be finished with the um, the needle bug tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna send it over the next time. Because uh, I have to stream tonight, so probably won't be able to finish it. super small and slow but you work with what you have and can't afford yeah of course at least you're doing the work which is good so kudos to you for uh, doing the work despite the uh somewhat limited uh means in the shadow so uh, student 17 this is what I do with the shadows um, not exactly the exercise I recommended yesterday but I just map them out this is like cast shadows and form shadows how they would be after I chose a, a light source that's coming from the top basically somewhere from the top so like this part would be completely in the dark because of the skull. The skull is above, right? And he, <clears throat> excuse me. And here, uh, in the in the outer part, it would start to receive some light, so you get a form shadow in this case. Uh, I am just assuming you are familiar with the difference between form and a cast, but the form shadow is basically anything that is on a thing that is exposed to sunlight. So like this, this is a form shadow because this uh, part of the leg is exposed um, to the sunlight, or whatever light there is, the light source, let's say. But the, then we have cast shadows like this. See, it stops here. The form stops here. It stops because this is going to be a cast shadow from the, the skull. And usually form shadows obviously follow the form principle. So they are softer, softer the more the surface is rounded. Now, you cannot really tell right now because of the method I'm using. But these are supposed to be soft. And this one is more... Uh, defined like probably be somewhere here something like that uh, it can it can be blurred too but differently like it's just a uniform blur depending on how far the casting surface is from the surface receiving the shadow so the closer the surface surfaces uh, the harder the edge basically Uh, my dream for my life is to work in a bakery and have a good PC and a big canvas to draw with freedom. That's cool. I hope you can get it. It's very achievable. So, so I assume you I like have two of food. three. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I, I don't have a bakery though. Me neither. <laughs> I do know people who have it. It's kind of hard. Like if you. Well, you want to work in a bakery, so you, you don't want to um, uh, own a bakery because it's a pretty stressful job. <laughs> you got to get up at 4 a.m. or earlier and start making bread. Or sweets, because people are gonna, going to want them in the morning, likely, usually, first thing in the morning. So, yeah, that would probably not be my ideal life.
Yeah, I would not want to make food because that would make me want to eat food. I shouldn't do that. Um, uh, I would rather just eat food than have to make it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like I, I like to eat, and if someone would just make food for me, I would be like a no-brainer. Like, sure, just do it, please. <laughs> and sadly, I'm not that lucky, <laughs> so I have to make my own food. Yeah, I wish I had like a wife or something to make me food. That doesn't necessarily <laughs> entail that someone is going to make food for you, trust me. <laughs> That's wink, a shame. Wink, wink. wink. <laughs> so, that's very sad, but especially nowadays. Um, honestly, I'm also speaking out of knowledge of other people. Um, I should probably not say this because I did... Uh, repressed i'm gonna be called misogynist or something but let's say the roles are not as traditional as they used to be anymore so oh you think <laughs> ah, i think uh i really think unfortunately but um yep you like simple things and simple life that's cool well i like simple life too Generally. It is the simple things in life that matter. Yeah. Of course, that's, that includes a Ferrari and whatnot. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not a car Who person. Cares about that trash? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hard. I mean, if it's I not an American. This is not an American vehicle. It's not a vehicle. That's my stance right now. <laughs> That's very patriotic. But Americans also buy Ferraris and um, Maserati and whatnot. So they could get you upset, I guess. Yeah. I know. I, 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 I'm poor. I never owned one, so I cannot tell. Yeah, I'm only saying that because I can afford American vehicles. <laughs> uh, I know, I, I heard Ford cars are good anyway, so... I uh, never had one, but I was looking at some... Uh, I saw some Ford cars, that they, they look pretty decent, so... Um, definitely not I don't going think to it is a controversial take to say that since the woman took the opportunity of the work market, everything changed. That is certainly true. Women entering the workforce changed the economy. Uh, yeah, but it's a very dangerous topic to go in for me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, especially now that you're affiliate status. <laughs> yeah, probably. Sadly. Sadly, it's not uh, so easy to see th or so um, appreciated when one says something that other people do not like. Uh, so I can't. Yeah. Say so. so we will not touch that topic, although the topic of hyperinflation uh, is certainly interesting that yeah. resulted from that. So I'm going to leave. Uh lighter space in the middle as I said because this needs to be so it's gonna be some light creeping through this is gonna be in the dark and then it's gonna become brighter as it gets closer to um, the center where the orb is this should also be multiplied so I can hopefully see this yeah it's kind of like there oh, I'm probably gonna do the same thing I did with the other so for the uh, the orb, were you just going to make it like an actual light orb, or were you going to yeah. give it like little wisps of fire or something? I'm not sure. Um, I guess I'm going to see what looks good. Uh, right now I'm thinking just orb, like light orb. Yeah. Uh, and eventually adjust depending on whether it looks good or not. Um, I'm not sold on the idea yet. So we'll see. So now, technically, so I'm going to, technically, the light would be from the top. So 
the inside of the eye sockets would be uh, light, like the same light as the uh, other like outside parts, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make them dark. And then I'm gonna make some light creep through from the bottom. Although this is technically not possible. Uh, not exactly possible. Uh, let's pretend it is. And let's pretend the light is kind of a little backwards compared to the uh, direction of the skull is facing. Oh man, I'm getting so hungry. Same. I, I was just sucks. thinking. You know what? Um, I'm so I got so used to eating a lot of rice in Japan because there was nothing else. If I eat pasta, even if it's got the same calories, I'm so hungry all the time. Uh, it's... I, 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 so when I eat, I'm gonna eat, it's like a sort of, it's not a pizza, it's like a white pizza with tuna and mozzarella cheese and what, corn probably, we'll see. Mm, tuna and cheese is a good combination. It is. I like tuna and olives too, but I find that too much salt kind of doesn't do me well. <laughs> So I try to avoid it. Yeah. It's been a while since I've had a fresh tuna because whenever I get tuna, I buy the tuna packet things. Oh, same. It's like a, same. Yeah, it's, it's like they add like lemon mixture with the tuna and things like uh, that. Here they just they uh, like I use canned tuna usually because it's too just too expensive to to buy the other one. It's insanely expensive per gram so or pound. At least here, I don't know about there, uh, but uh, the sea is not too far, but man, the price of fish is, it's, it's not that one cannot afford it, it's just that it's not worth it, it's just so little for so much. It's like, ah, oh, I can buy something else and, you know, eat more, probably. And I'm very frugal, as you can probably tell, but um, it's something to consider. Flamingo's milk is pink. Uh, I've seen that. It was like a viral video. I looked it up when you mentioned it last time. I'm not sure if that's actually... Is it actually milk? Because that's the only thing I could find. Like, there was nothing else. Uh, flamingos do have crop milk that they feed their young. Because uh, a lot of people thought that they were, like, feeding it blood or something. But Looks it's like. actually... <laughs> yeah. I guess it's not exactly blood, though. So similar to um, if you know what pigeon milk is. Mm, mm, I don't. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard about pigeon milk. <laughs> That's a news for me. I didn't know they made milk of any sort. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Very strange. Uh, the parent birds. Oh, I mean, that's not strange, but they do like regurgitate the milk. For oh, their well, I mean, yeah, like they do with food usually. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't like to be a bird. <laughs> Have your gross. parents throw up in your mouth? No. <laughs> that's pretty gross, <laughs> to say the least. So probably wouldn't like that. Oh, let's see if it yeah, it's just it's not actually milk. They just call it crop milk yeah some sort of probably not exactly milk because i i assume that milk needs to be produced by actual mammals it's actually similar to what bees do whenever they go to like the nectar of flowers they're actually storing the nectar in their crops okay. in their body It's like a um, flamingo honey. <laughs> I've seen a couple of those in my life. <laughs> Touche. I didn't realize that when I said it. <laughs> uh, I have been to Mardi Gras. <laughs> uh, okay, so the first layer is done pretty much. Um, I think I'm going to finish the grayscale tomorrow and maybe even add some color. Oh, we might even finish it tomorrow. Who knows? 
Oh man, um, student called you out. He said, oh, I yeah. thought you were going to use Clip Studio. Uh, not for, no, I, I am not able to use Clip Studio for the finish. I'm just too used to a side brush. And I don't know if Clip Studio has the same um, blending modes. Like, this one is the one they use for Grand Blue, so I, I feel uh, not obligated, but more reassured if I use it to make something that has to be in that style. So, um, that's why I'm using this. I will see, uh, eventually, if I can move to Clip Studio for other types of uh, creatures. Not this type, though. No, this is probably going to stay with Psy for a long time, uh, because of the nature of it. I just find it easier to get the same result every single time. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a day here for this stream. Thank you, um, Chase, for the support and the help, as always. Uh, thank no you, Student17, Maria. Uh, I think Fiddle was here, uh, Bo, my friend, and everyone else who joined. And Alex. No. And Alex, right? And Alex, thank you so much for joining. Uh, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow at the same time. We'll continue with this. And until then, you guys have a nice day.